here again for another review. I was sent some products from uh, Watofo. Well, first, we're going to do a review of the Serpent Mini. We're going to go down below and we're going to see everything that comes into the box. Alright, got the Serpent Mini from Watofo. It comes in a really nice box, labeled what color it is. It's got the black. Everything that comes inside, you got your instruction manual. Shows you how to do everything. Has a Serpent Mini. There's an extra piece of glass. Underneath this, it came with little bags, but I've already taken everything out. It comes with spare O rings. Um, some pre-built coils which I won't use some twisted pre-built coils some o-rings some red ones some black ones some clear ones and I've already been playing with this and testing it out and it has the blue ones and take this apart we're going to do a small build tutorial. Here's the deck. And inside that deck we have oops, trying to get this on oh, head. Comes with the Allen head of course. But inside this deck we have your gallon head grub screws and they screw right down and screw your coil down and it goes right over your airflow. You have adjustable airflow right here, closed and wide open. And this tank comes right off and is held on by the uh, O ring. comes with a special little Durlin drip tip and I have a coil pre-made here I'm going to install in here for you get this stuff out of the way just did a 9 wrap 24 gauge you want to make your leads on the same side because the way it lays down it is the opposite of the way I have it <laughs> you don't want to go like this so I might have to do another coil and fix that so I'll be right back Okay guys, sorry for the brain fart there. I uh, wrapped it the opposite way than I normally do, and that's what you're supposed to do. So, here it is, 9 or 8 wrap, uh, 24 gauge around a 3 millimeter post. Easy as can be. You open up all your screws, and you just drop it right in there. And then... Get your Allen head. And it cinches right down. To the lead. Fumble fingers here. Try to keep your uh, coil centered. You can always fix it afterwards. Tighten it down. That easy. And you want to just lift it up off the deck. You want to make sure that none of your leads are touching 
any other of the deck. I like to lift it up just a little higher. You got a good amount of room in that chimney on the uh, RDA. But you want to make sure that there's a nice gap in there. After that, one important thing with this RDA is you want to cut it right flush against your deck. So you want to make sure it's nice and flush against it because any extra wire will tighten up against the deck, against the chimney. So just make sure you don't have any extra wire hanging out. We will uh, center this, make sure it's still centered. We're going to pulse this. 0.74 ohms. Don't normally build that high, but with a single coil, you kind of have to. Oops. Nothing's touching. Kind of adjust your coil. You know how you guys do it. going from the center out so something is not tightened down properly And that's what it is. And now it's going. Okay. Now that she's all built, we will wick it. My good old trusty Shiseido cotton never fails me. No break in. As long as you roll it nice and tight and get it tight through that coil, it'll work perfectly. Working on this is super easy. Nice and tight, not going anywhere. What you want to do is I usually just cut it even at the edge of the uh, eddy and pull it out just a hair more. Don't worry about fluffing it out. Uh, what you're going to do is just like the uh, Griffin 25 that I did, I found out that cutting it at an angle works the best for what this RDA does. You want kind of a point going right down to the bottom of the juice flow channel that is 
right under here. And towards these little channel, you want it to go straight down to the bottom. But you don't want too much or it'll uh, drown out your coil. And then what I do after that is that I uh, will soak it. Get this cotton nice and wet so that way you can mold it right where you need to be. We'll put that cotton right down into that groove. You can choose a flow into the, where the glass goes anyway, and that'll come right back up into the chamber. Really easy to do. Once you get that on there, you're going to screw this right on top. It kind of just screws right on. Is. We will clean up this juice here. Clean that up there. Now to fill this up, what we will do, this top comes right off. Nice big juice flow where you can fill up. Just put your needle tip right in there and it will fill right up. I believe that this RDA said that there is a uh, three mil tank, if I'm not mistaken. So it's a small tank, but it's a great little stealthy vape. Great flavor, Addy. Take this off. wipe up the rest of what I uh, juiced up around the edge. I'm going to put this on the Segeli. I figure the Segeli 75 temp control would be perfect. Even though I didn't wrap it with temp control wire. Nice little matchy matchy going on there. And we'll go up top here. Okay guys, so here it is, the Serpent Mini. I'm going to list some pros and cons. There's not too many cons. One of the cons is that it's got a small tank, but it is a Mini. So when you're searching for a small little stealthy vape that goes on a small little mod, it is perfect. The drip tip that comes with it, a little too small for my taste, but again, that is subjective. It is a good little tip, but after chain vaping this and constantly having to refill it, the top gets a little hot. So if you tend to not like short drip tips, I don't recommend it. So as far as the tips, tank is great. It has great flavor. And other than that, I mean, when you're a flavor chaser, I would highly recommend this tank. If you're going for huge clouds, it doesn't blow the biggest clouds. It is a single coil tank. So, it does everything it's advertised to be. So, all in all, I would recommend buying this tank. Would I buy another one if I lost it? Probably. Just because... I do have small mods and I do like to have something a little small for around the house that's not so big and bulky. Thank you guys for watching. Please hit like and subscribe and share and we'll be
back with another review shortly.